Hello everybody, 616 Reviews. Today we're going to be doing a kind of uh, unboxing, overview, and demonstration of the Olight Warrior Mini. Um, so first things first, uh, I did buy this with my own money. This was not given to me by Olight for review or anything like that. I purchased this over their Black Friday sale and I'm doing review on it now. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. So I'm going to start looking at the box here. So the Olight Warrior Mini, everyday carry, defensive. I got the Desert Tan version. Really nothing on either side. It displays some applications if you really needed to figure that out. And I will let you guys read some of the stuff on the back here if you want. I'm sure the only thing most of you are going to want to look at is this stuff right here. So the different run levels and uh, run times, you know, stuff like that. So that's everything from there. Pulling it out of the box, the light comes in this plastic tray here. If you flip that over, it's got a thing talking about the insulating film for the battery and then also uh, about charging the light. And if you pop that off uh, in this cavity space here, you're going to find a lanyard and then you're going to get the um, MCC3 um, charging cable, which is nice. And then, of course, you actually have the light itself. So like I said, I got the Desert Tan version. Um, overall, it looks um, really nice. So starting from the top, um, there's not much of a crazy bezel or anything like that. You have a side switch, uh, the reversible um, pocket clip, and you've got the body, which is where the 18650 is stored. Um, it's got a nice um, texture on there, so you know, you're know you not very likely to slip. And on the back, you've got the magnetic charging pad and also a push button. So let's get into the different modes here. It's pretty standard as far as Olight controls go. So if you push and hold the power button, you're going to get a moonlight mode. And the moonlight mode is one lumen, and that's going to last you for 45 days, which is obviously an extremely long time. And from there, if you hold and go through the modes, it'll go through low, medium, and high. Uh, turbo and moonlight are not on the um, scrollable, scrollable modes. And also, if you look on the side here, you'll see that the light is green. That is a battery level indicator. So it goes from green to orange to red, uh, depending on if you need to charge the, uh, the light or not. So we're going to go ahead and turn it off here and hold it again to put it back in moonlight mode. So again, that's one lumen. It's going to last you for 45 days. The next mode is low, which is 15 lumens. You're going to get 150 hours of runtime at that. Go to medium. That's 120 lumens. You're going to get 18 hours of runtime. Going up to high, you're going to get 500 lumens for about three and a half hours. Then it's going to drop down to 170 lumens for another 50 minutes. And if you hold it again, you go back to the low mode. Now, this does have a strobe, so three presses. That gets you your strobe. And it also has a turbo, so you can double press on the side, and that will get you into turbo mode, which is 1,500 lumens for four minutes. Then it drops down to 500 lumens for 205 minutes. And finishes out at 170 lumens, 170 lumens for 55 minutes. And it does also have a switch, or a tail cap switch. So this actually has two um, different modes. So to change modes, you hard press and then press the side button. And that'll change what the function of the tail switch actually is. So right now, and this is the mode that I like it in. If I soft press, I go to the medium mode, which is 120 lumens. And if I hard press, I go to turbo mode, which is, again, 1500 lumens. And you can do both momentary and constant. So if you press like half press and release, that will get you the constant um, medium mode. And if you hard press and release, that'll get you the constant turbo. Whereas right, you can momentary hold for both levels as well, right? Now the other mode, uh, again, if you press and hold the back and then push the side button, if I soft press, I get turbo mode. And that is just momentary turbo mode. There's no uh, on or off. So you can soft press for turbo, hard press for strobe. Uh, for me using it, I like having it on this first mode uh, because when I pull this light out of my pocket, now, I like keeping it on the medium level um, anyways, so I can quick soft press to get instant access to that medium mode, which I like to use. And if I do need a lot of light, I can just hard press and uh, get turbo mode from there. 
Now it does, so this is moonlight, we're on low, medium, high, and back to low. So again, if I half press, it goes to medium. If I full press, it goes to turbo. And this side button, if I press that, that is still on low. If I set this to high, I can actually have kind of three different uh, brightness settings just with the buttons on here. So soft press for medium, can do side press for high, and then hard press on the back, um, and that'll give me turbo. So um, if you wanna keep this on its own level, you can also use the button on the back to get um, medium and turbo. So overall, I like using um, the tail switch on this mode because uh, I can just quick pull it out and give it a half press and that'll get me the medium that I like to use. Uh, it does have a lockout mode. So if you press and hold the side button, the light will come on and then go off. And now it's in lockout mode. If you press the button, you see this red LED comes on there. Uh, that means it's in lockout mode and to exit, simply press and hold, the light will come on. You're now in moonlight mode and can scroll through the different modes from there. So that wraps up this portion. Let's go ahead and take it out back and see what it can do. All right, so we're out back now. Uh, for reference, I'm using the Marauder 2 to kind of show you guys what you're going to see. I do have a review of that light on my channel. If you're interested, go take a look. Um, I'm just kind of shining around my deck in my backyard, giving you guys an idea of what you're going to be able to see. So we're starting out on the low mode. This is 15 lumens. You can barely make out the stairs and some of the bushes there. Um, again, it's only 15 lumens. So you're not going to be able to see much. We just bumped it up to the 120 lumens right there. Uh, you start to see some of the grass. You can definitely see the stairs and kind of the benches and the railing and stuff on the deck at uh, that medium level. Now we're up to high. This is 500 lumens. Uh, you start to make out the tree that's there. You see all the way to the back of the deck, the trees behind the deck, stuff like that. Uh, so we're getting up there for sure. And now we are on the turbo mode, which is 1500 lumens, and that's lighting up pretty well. You can see the tops of the trees. It's got a good flood to it. Uh, everything is looking really good at the turbo mode here. Now again, I'm shining the Marauder 2 in the uh, creek behind my house. So you can see across the bank, um, you can see the bank itself. You can see some trees and stuff that are over there and you can see um, upstream as well. So again, we're starting out on low. This is 15 lumens. You can't see much besides the ground in front of you. Uh, the video does make it look a little bit darker than it really is, but it's not super bright. So we bumped up to uh, medium here. This is again, 120 lumens. Um, you can barely see across the bank, and now we're getting brighter in front of us. Going up to high, we're at 500 now, and uh, you can't see it super well in the video, but you can start to see decently well across the bank. You can see the bank, the opposite bank there, and now we're going to turn it on turbo mode here. You can definitely make out the trees across the way and the other bank, and you can see um, upstream a little bit, and obviously right in front of us is pretty bright as well. So guys, that about wraps it up for the Warrior Mini from Olight. Overall, I really like this flashlight, and I believe it's going to be uh, one of my new um, EDC lights. Uh, I like the look, the feel. I like this um, tail switch on the back with the half press going to medium, full press going to high. Um, I Yeah, I really like the light a lot. I like the price that it's at. They go on flash sale a lot. Um, I like the size. Uh, I really have... Yeah, I have no complaints about this light, and I would definitely recommend it to anybody looking uh, for a decent size um, new EDC that has a good tail switch and uh, everything else about it. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.